President Trump signed an executive order to tear down parts of the Affordable Care Act on October 12th. The move comes after promising to repeal and replace Obamacare on the campaign trail. It's over for Obamacare. Facing months of frustration with Congress for not passing a health care overhaul. Disappointed. And then continuously saying he would let Obamacare implode. Let Obamacare implode. Now Trump is actively removing and altering ACA regulations on association health plans and short-term insurance policies, which could have a ripple effect on costs and coverage. The availability of short-term insurance policies which only covered about 160,000 people nationwide last year, will be expanded, and its length extended from three months to nearly a year. Association health plans availability will also be expanded. This is a type of insurance where similar small businesses are allowed to band together, forming an association, to negotiate health benefits. The arrangements have existed for decades, but Trump's order will exempt them from many ACA requirements, like the required coverage of certain health benefits. This would lower the price tag for association health plans and draw healthy, young customers away from ACA marketplaces, whose rates would then spike. The association health plans, in turn, will no longer have to be licensed by a state where they're sold, won't need approval under federal rules, and could integrate individuals, not just small businesses. But the association health plans will largely provide skimpier coverage, since companies will be able to go outside of the ACA's markets and protections. And allowing individuals to enter these associations could spark legal complaints, experts warn. Proponents of the executive order say that it will promote healthcare choice and competition. Critics of the action say that proliferating association health plans will drive up costs for consumers with serious medical conditions and prompt more insurers to leave the ACA's marketplaces, leaving sicker consumers with fewer insurers and higher costs. Trump's order, they say, seeks to undermine the ACA and make it unpopular so that enough lawmakers come on board with the GOP's plans to completely repeal and replace it.